I'm Ryan Bayless. I'm the writer, director, producer, editor, and cinematographer of Eleanor Makes Love, a film now out on Fearless. Uh, the film is highly improvised based on an outline. Its origin was a short film that I made for the film festival Cinekink, uh, a film festival based in New York but travels uh, the country. It's sort of a celebration of all things sexy. I had been a friend of the festival for a long time and had played other work there and wanted to shoot something specifically for the festival. Uh, and time was sort of running out, so I decided to do a short uh, sort of from the same universe uh, of characters from a previous film I had made called Not Safe for Work. Uh, however, it's sort of a reimagining of those characters as if things went differently. I want you to stay. Uh, working with both Audrey and Deirdre is just such a pleasure. They're both incredible actresses, uh, and I am so grateful that they put so much trust in our collaboration, and that they've been such good creative partners in that way. So much of what we do when it's improvised is, you know, we have story beats that we have in mind, and they're welcome to shift and change them as we go along. Uh, but, 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 you know, so much of the collaboration is having conversation. You know, it's about having really, really strong communication and 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 talking and bringing that stuff that we discuss, the thematically, subject matter, personal stuff. We sort of bring that all to the table and see kind of, you know, try to light it up and see what happens. My approach to making an improvised film changes with each project. I've done a handful of films that were fully improvised but they've all been so different. And I think what makes it easy, because doing an improvised movie could be very challenging, but because there's always such a, a strong outline, it never feels like, what are we doing? What, 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 I don't know what to say. I think this has a lot to do with Audrey being a great scene partner, Ryan being a great director. Once the camera starts rolling and you're in that scene, it just comes out of you. What do you want? Come here. Hmm. I want this. If the director, if the story gives you a few solid prompts, then I think if you're connected with the character, if you're connected to the piece, um, then it's easier for you to kind of bring your own, your own thoughts, your own material, your own spin on everything. And uh, Ryan does that. He's really good at giving you those prompts without um, leading you entirely. Did you have fun? Mm-hmm. Me too. Good. And when it came to shooting the love scenes, we really worked together to create choreography that was both uh, beautiful from a camera standpoint and something that was compelling from a story standpoint. Orchestrating the intimate scenes, once again, we had all worked together before, so it didn't feel awkward. At the time, Ryan was my husband, or soon to be husband, and Audrey was someone who I had worked with and built a relationship with at that point. We had become close friends. I just remember it was very, all right, all right, let's do the scene and we'll tell you if it looks weird or Ryan, I should just say, you know, tell you if it looks weird. And obviously he had our best interest in mind. So if it was maybe not a flattering angle, he'd say, let's redo that and make it flattering. Or, or if it seemed phony or, not um, artistic, because I think that with his intimate scenes, that's a huge part of it is that it's not grotesque and it doesn't have to be. It is this beautiful thing that's happening, but we have a camera on, so we need to have it translate through the camera. So it was a very positive experience doing those scenes. I'm gonna go surprise my wife. It's my best attempt at looking sexy right now. The great thing about Eleanor Makes Love is it kind of hops around in timelines. And um, some I, at some points you're not even sure if that's something that actually happened or if it's just something you wish that happened. So yes, at one point, uh, Eleanor and Dee's relationship was uh, very strong and it's 
absolutely still meaningful, um, but just in a totally different way. It's not that the end that it's the end of things, uh, but it's definitely going through uh, some a bit of growing pains. I'd like to imagine that Eleanor and Dee have stayed deeply connected. It's, uh, you know, those characters have stayed deeply connected and are uh, somewhere still trying to figure stuff out. I think Eleanor uh, was a wild child and she had a lot of uh, oats to sow and he was a little more settled and she was uh, always committed to something uh, deeper. And I think Eleanor will get there. I wanna thank you for watching this. I wanna thank you for watching Eleanor Makes Love on Fearless. It's a fantastic film that we're very, very proud of. And we shot really from the gut, from our hearts, and uh, we're very proud of it.